That's me FaceTiming a stranger I met on the dark web, a place that's supposed to be completely anonymous. Every kid I knew from my childhood is either locked up or... Really? Here's how it happened. With everyone being stuck at home, it's been really hard making friends. I'm super lonely, I've gone on Omegle a couple times, but mostly just end up talking to different types of penises, and... Then I started thinking, what if there's more chat rooms out there? I just can't access them with the search engines I'm using. That's why today, I'm gonna be making friends on the dark web. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm pretty nervous. Almost every video out there about the dark web focuses on all the illegal stuff that goes on, all the scary, the bad people, but I've done some research and a lot of articles say that the surface web, what we have access to, is only 10% of the web. So we typically don't have access to 90% of the web. So my hypothesis is that 90% of the web can't be evil. There's gotta be some fascinating people on there. So my goal is to make an actual friend. Now, what do I classify as an actual friend? Well, I wanna get to the point where I'm in a chat room with somebody and we trust each other enough to where we reveal our identity and end up FaceTiming each other and having an actual conversation. I'm not gonna stop till I meet an actual person on the dark web and become real life friends. I have no idea what I'm doing. The only thing I do know is that I have one computer, it's this Mac, and I don't wanna risk it getting hacked and having everything deleted or stolen and all my penis pictures leaked. I don't have any penis pictures. So I don't wanna use my personal computer for any of this. What I'm gonna do is try and find a really cheap computer on like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and just buy some janky computer. Look at this vintage computer for $45. I need something that actually works though. I don't know if this works. Two HP laptops for $75? Dude, Craigslist is amazing. Why am I even going on the dark web? I should just hang out on Craigslist for a while. Okay, so it's been a few hours. I got a response from someone on Craigslist. I'm driving over to their address to pick up the computer right now. It looks janky. Hopefully I don't get murdered. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I've actually never bought anything off Craigslist in my life. Oh, okay. All right, there she is. Hey, thank you so much. Okay, so I have the burner laptop. Hopefully it works. It's a little busted up. I'm home alone right now and I know nothing about the dark web. I genuinely don't know how dangerous it is. I've watched a couple of videos. The one thing I know I shouldn't be doing is clicking links because for example, if I click on something illegal and I have that in my possession, I think I can like go to jail for that probably. It's on. The computer is actually on. Now I just need to create a fake account for the computer just in case somebody hacks into it. So let me do that. My name's gonna be please don't hack me. Password is gonna be stop, stop, stop. Okay, security questions. What's the name of your first pet? You will never find out anything about me. What was your childhood nickname? Lil Bitch. I'll give him that one. He can have a little bit of information about me. Just, just a tease. What's the name of the city where your parents met? My dad is Liam Neeson. Leave before it's too late. So after about 45 minutes, this computer is so slow. I have a VPN downloaded. How to get on the dark web. Okay, step one, start with encryption, download Tor and the Tor browser. Please stay away from the naughty stuff like hiring hitmen or buying stolen goods. You can hire a hitman? No freaking way. Guys, I'm getting kind of scared. Identity theft and blackmail are rampant. So stay alert, don't wander around too much, and don't trust any site or contact that you find. I'm not supposed to trust anybody on there? How am I supposed to make a friend? Like, friendship is based on trust. I just don't want my life to be ruined for a video that gets like 40,000 views. So please share it with just like at least one friend. Oh f am I on it? Are you kidding? That's it? Chat room. Am I in the dark web? Guys, I don't know what's happening. Hello? Are people listening to me? One more step. I don't know if I can take one more step. Please complete the security check to access chattyu.com. Chattyu. I would never usually go into a website called chattyu.com. I am human, yes. Okay. Oh my God, I'm in the dark web. I'm definitely in the freaking dark web right now. I'm already getting pop-ups, guys. Oh, f I'm already getting hacked. I'm already getting freaking hacked. Nickname, Lonely. <laughs> That's so creepy. Start new chat. You can do video chat on here? Get out of here. Where do I chat? What the fuck? I'm having a panic attack, somebody popped up on the right corner of my screen. 
Was she there the whole time? Dude, I don't like this. If anyone was thinking, hey, is this a good way to make friends? Um, no, it's not. I can already tell you. So I'm going into one of the links that was recommended on a previous website. And let's see if it works. Oh my God. Okay, so in the previous browser, when we weren't on tour, this link did not work. And now, now I can chat with random people and there's 782 people online right now. It's taking a long time to load. Yo, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna put out a positive fun vibe, okay? Super confident. They're not gonna wanna hack me if they're like, damn. Hey, yo, what's up? He said, not much, high as fuck. Ah, uh, me too. Blazing. Where are you from? Dude, I think everyone's just a stoner on the dark web. And stoners are like the least harmful people ever. Oh my God, this guy's from New York City? No way, we could actually meet up. What do you do? CC scam? What's that? What the hell, dude? He's a credit card scammer. Like, and he just says that openly. He's like, yeah, dude, I just scam credit cards. I thought I was gonna meet up with this guy and be friends with him. No, he's a credit card scammer. What the hell? Are there normal people? Damn it, I wanna find some nice people. You got any Netflix recommendations? Um, Dude, you gotta watch Dave on Hulu. We're just having a conversation about TV show. It's like, this guy's on the dark web asking, you got any Netflix recommendations? Like. Just Google Netflix shows, like top shows on Netflix. Why Why are you on the dark web trying to figure out what to watch on Netflix? Do you have Facebook or anything? Don't bring anything like that here. Don't use a personal email. I said, do you think it's possible to actually meet someone in the chat who would be down to then expose who they are? I'm trying to see if I can actually meet someone for real off the chat. I said, dude, people come here because they want to be anonymous. This is difficult. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Hey. What are you doing on here? Why is he asking for my name? My name is Samison. I don't even know what that is. What the hell is Samison? Just found this link and thought I'd have a chat. You're the first person I found. We might already be best friends because the same thing is happening to me, unless he's lying, unless he's manipulating. Same. I'm trying to find a friend on the dark web. Do you think? It's possible. This is going great. Unless he just like freaking hacks everything on, on my phone, computer right now. He said his name's Michael. This guy is being so open, I don't know why. I don't want him to leave. I feel like I might, I feel like that's it. I accomplished the goal, I'm ready. I believe in Michael, come on. I'm from Australia. I wanna go to Australia so bad. Yeah, bro, Australia. Oh no, 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 come on. No, Michael, Michael left me. I was so, I was about to ask for his Instagram. Come on, Michael. Yo, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's your name? Why do they always ask for the name? Brivaro. Brivaro, my name is Abrivaro and I am from Italy. Not much bro, just session and searching the dark web. Shit's wild. I feel like everyone on the dark web is me. They're all just like, let's figure it out. He said, stop it. He said, fuck, that's a sick name. Mine's Michael. Another Michael? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is getting creepy. Cause I had just spoken to a Michael. Let me see, are you from Australia? What if this is the same Michael, dude? It's just us two. We're just gonna keep getting redirected to each other and he's gonna have no idea. Cause I keep changing my name. Brevaro is a sick name. Okay, what the fuck is going on? He is from Australia. I was just talking to this weird kid who was trying to make friends on the dark web. <laughs> I'm gonna see if he can, if I can get him to shit talk me. Dude, I'm talking to the same Michael, literally. The, he, we, he skipped me to get back to me and he thinks now I'm Bravaro. Why is he giving me his name now? Why is he so upfront? 
Is he listening to me? I'm in a black Adidas jumper. I don't see anyone named. Guys, okay, so basically he's asking for my last name now and he's saying he'll try and search me because I can't find him. But, uh, where the f is this guy? Literally, as I'm on the dark web, an $150 transaction was made on my card. I, my heart just sunk into my butthole. But then I realized it's an automatic payment that I actually have to pay, so. He said, do you smoke weed? Yeah, I blaze, dude. <laughs> That's something someone that doesn't smoke weed would say. I'm just really trying to sell it. Fuck yeah, same bro. Yo, what if my first time smoking weed will be with, <laughs> with a dude I met off the dark web? Now that's a good video. He wants my Snapchat? Why does this guy want my Snapchat? What's your snap? Let's, let's just see where this goes. Okay, he actually has a Snapchat. The point of this video was to see if I could get anyone to trust me enough to give me their information. And almost immediately, I am now the one that doesn't trust the people to give my information and they're just giving it out like it's like it's no big deal. I have his Snapchat, I can always add him later. Let's just keep going. I hope the next guy isn't Michael again. After talking to strangers all night, I decided to add Michael on Snapchat. After sending a few pictures back and forth, we finally FaceTimed and the things he revealed to me were absolutely incredible. I don't want to be that kid that's in the system set up for failure and fails. I want to be the kid that proves I'm wrong. The footage with Michael is too good to squeeze into one video. So the moment this video gets 6,000 likes, I'll release part two. So hit that like button and I can't wait for you guys to see it.